Hi everyone. Uh, so just yesterday, this uh, new demonstration lock arrived, and it's a cutaway padlock. So I thought I would take this opportunity to go over a few more of the ideas that I had addressed in that last uh, basic theory video I'd done, and also to revisit uh, the comb pick bypass uh, that I had demonstrated in an earlier video because now I can a uh, bit more effectively illustrate exactly how that works. So um, let's just start by taking a hook pick and we're just going to put it in here and you can see how I can lift each of these pin stacks and you'll notice that sometimes uh, as I'm feeling around in there I'll actually be moving more than one pin at any given time. And this is why you need to really develop a feel for exactly what you're touching with your tools while you are uh, working inside there because normally you're not going to be able to see uh, all of these pin stacks moving around as you feel around with the pick. So just something to keep in mind. And uh, today we're just going to be using first the hook pick and a standard tension tool. This is just my personal favorite one. Doesn't matter if yours has a flat handle or a twist handle or if it uh, is long or short. It's whatever works for you. Just as long as you can apply the right amount of pressure. Now I usually like to try to reach as far into the lock with my pick as I can to start by attacking those uh, rear pin stacks. And actually, I'm going way too far here because you can see me wiggling around and there. But, so let's see, if I start applying tension. Okay, that one's binding. Now here's where very light tension plays a role because I don't know how well it's going to actually show up in the finished video, but just about all of these pins have a very slight spool shape to them. Uh, and I don't know whether that's intentional or whether that's an accident of the way that these pins are manufactured, but they uh, all seem to have slight slight uh, rims. Very shallow, but it does still make a difference as you're working your way through there with the uh, pick. So, just seeing how that works, you just go along, push them up one at a time until this pin here is above the shear line and the key pin, which is in here and you can see coming up as I raise them very high. There you go, you can see both of them at the same time now. There you go again. So that top one is the driver or the top pin and the one that is going to stick up there. Just coming out of the plug is the key pin or bottom pin. There, I've got it all the way out of the way. And now, uh, because we do still have a few minutes here, I'm going to show you how the comb pick attack works where you can actually see what's going on inside the pin chambers. So, if you remember, comb picks uh, looks kind of like one of those old-fashioned rakes, like the gardening implement, not the uh, lock picking tool. And what you need to do is you need to be able to figure out exactly how many pin stacks there are in the lock and try to figure out what their spacing is. If I take a if I take another one of these comb picks, like say this seven pin one. Okay, so the spacing isn't too bad, but that's not uh, a pin stack. I can't actually do anything to that because that just applies tension to the core. There's no way for me to reach it. And pushing it out of the way isn't going to give us any sort of help here. And in the same way, if I use, you know, that little four pin 
uh, comb that I demonstrated on those uh, master locks and abyss locks. There you go. I'm not going to be able to attack all of those pin stacks. So I'm going to try sticking in there. And there, look, I can get I can get it four of them. I can even manage to push them out of the way, but it doesn't help me because I'm not getting those two in the back. So you have to figure out the correct number of pins and the correct spacing in order for this to work. Now I'm also going to cheat a little bit on this because this lock, and I haven't been able to figure out exactly where it's coming from, but there's a lot of tension here. It might be because I haven't uh, been able to completely clear away all of the debris from when uh, someone milled all these holes in the case, or maybe it's just that this uh, tension spring here and the springs in the latches really do put up that much uh, pressure. But I'm going to actually, as I do this, assist myself with a standard tension tool once I have the pin stacks moved out of the way. But see, I'm going to push it in here, and then I need to line it up so that each of those little pins or tines on the comb line up exactly with the pin stacks here. And that, so they all seem to be lined up there. You can see all of the key pins and all of the driver pins and they're all outside of the uh, plug. And now in this case, because of that heavy tension as I mentioned, I'm going to put this tension tool in to help me turn this thing. And there you go. So you can see all of the pins are trapped up in the top section here. There's nowhere for them to go, but there's enough room up here that I can push them all the way up to the top of this chamber and the entire pin stack will be out of the plug instead of just lining up all of the driver pins and all of the key pins at the shear line. So that's, you know, I, hopefully that gives you a better idea of exactly what you're doing inside these locks as you uh, pick them. And uh, so remember everyone, be ethical, uh, stay legal, and happy picking.